Uh, what was that? I'm sorry. Were you around yesterday? User joined your channel. Yeah, I believe so. Oh god, I keep getting new photos or anything that I'm not aware about. Uh, I'll go over a new warrant that we have. Sounds good. Evening all. So this is Rob Robert Ryder. He's going to be my, he's one of my newest characters. For those of you that don't know, because I haven't been streaming for a while, I am no longer fire primary. I am still in the fire department. I am fire secondary. I am still a fire tech. And I am now a C3 Howdy, Major. in the civilian department. Steph, do you want us to wait for you? Morning. I might be joining a Leo department, and this would be the character okay. that would join the Leo uh, department someday right. in the future. So, for those of you who don't know me, um, Corporal Walker, so we're going to go ahead and get started with briefing today. Um, as for subdivisions, as for subdivisions, um, we're going to have LeBolt out as traffic, I believe, in the Northern Precinct. Um, however, he could probably come down if we need him. Otherwise, um, we have some resources here to activate any other subdivisions. Hold on. Um, yeah, so we should have the, uh, the, blah, 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 the resources to activate any subdivisions um, that we need. Um, otherwise, um, I don't think we have any new bolos. Um, really, all I have left is just make sure we're spreading out. There's not a whole lot of us out tonight. And then I believe Lieutenant Montana has uh, a warrant. Yes, we got a new warrant approved. For a Ken Smith, Con Smith, however you pronounce it, um, last seen wearing a white puffy jacket with a red shirt, I believe. If he, if y'all do spot him, it's just for a questioning warrant. It's a pickup order for an investigation. Contact myself or contact Staff Sergeant Stefanelli. I'll put it off to uh, Staff Sergeant if he has anything in for the investigator, and then off to the major. No, this is all referencing the uh, DOT incident that happened a while back. He's it's a pickup order for questioning because he is our, possibly our prime suspect, suspect in it. So, we kind of figured this all out. Off to you, Major. Alright, um... Afternoon. Uh, I wasn't around last night, so if anybody that was on last night, if there's anything very important that I'm not aware of, please let me know before we head out. But, um... Tell you Nighthawk in traffic is leading a investigation. Um, tell you as much as I can say right now is the county auto shop will be shut down, and the owner is under our custody right now. Um, and a search warrant has been approved for the property. You know, let warrant set that all up, and then I'll be in attendance. Um, because that case may be going to court. It might be our, uh, one of the first court cases in that system. So, uh, we're gonna go there. Um, find some stuff and then move on from there but like I said Nighthawk and investigations are aware of that case we can't let too much right now but as things progress we'll be able to um, divulge more details uh, myself and Fordham are working on that traffic and the Montana sound of the warrant uh, as far as everything else you guys know the deal spread out okay um, something I want to say the other night we were all in Sandy I'm not having us for it because it, I felt like we were having call after call in Sandy, but we got to make an effort, okay, to try to get out of that area, and then if things happen there, we'll respond. It's good to be there before it happens, but it's to the point where anything could be happening in, you know, Grapeseed Pluto or whatever, and we're not there because we're all stuck in Sandy, so, you know, that's why we respond to calls. Uh, we can't just sit in Sandy um, and entertain some people's bullshit. Other than that, you guys have been doing good. Um... If you didn't make it to the meeting, the recording should be uploaded soon. Um, we really don't have much else. Uh, we got a new deputy, uh, Cadet Davidson, who will be going to the academy soon. Uh, and then we obviously have, um, I believe his name's Warner, who's fairly new as well. Um, so make sure you welcome the casino around. Other than that, we uh, have a civ ride along today, it looks like. So whoever has him, make sure you're following guidelines and. Um, for all the other deputies, if you see him wandering about because something happens to the deputy or whatever, make sure we have him in custody um, and that he's safe. Other than that, nothing else. We can head out. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Okay. We'll head out.
head out this way. Make sure yeah, okay. uh, you get him a vest, Walker. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go back here to the locker room to get you a vest here. Um, okay. going, Montana? As long as we're out okay, on the road, I feel like I haven't. Um, keep the vest on at all times. So if we get back to like the station, it's not a huge deal. Uh, yes, sir. Um, but definitely, once we're out on the road, just um, make sure you're keeping that vest on. Let's see if it's okay. an extra one up here or something. That fits you. Sure do. Will. Looks like it fits right? perfectly. Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I'll explain the rest as we get out of the car. Um, okay. Also, at any point during the ride along, um, if you have any questions, feel free to speak up. Okay. Um, I'm very open about just about everything. Sounds good. Sounds like I got the right person to ride along with today, Dad. Um, other thing, um, if we're ever run into a call, which is pretty likely, um, don't get out of the car unless I say it's all right to you. Okay. I yeah, I say... read that in the uh, ride along document. I was said that, that I'm only allowed to leave the vehicle if you tell me or if I feel my life is in danger of being in the car. Yep. Okay, so also on that document, you should read um, that if anything happens to me, to press the orange panic button. So if we look down yep. here, kind of in between our seats here, you'll see the radio panel um, and the orange button right there on the, on the like the bottom left. Okay. Um, so again, that only press that button if like I am incapacitated and you know bad things are happening. That one right there. Yep. Sounds good. Here. Yeah, adjust my seat here. Um, also on that document, um, don't really tamper with anything. Um, however, I'll show you around the car here. So right above the radio, uh, or sorry, right below the radio panel there, you'll see the um, the light panel. So that's how you control the lights and the sirens and all that. And um, oh, you should be in CAD. You should be forty one ten eight. Um, not the biggest deal. Like I'll let you play around with that too. Um, no, I don't need to. My dad let me write, play around with his a long time ago before he got killed in line of duty. And so, then, uh, this I mean, it looks like you guys have a slightly different panel than they had out in Liberty City, but. Okay. Uh, um, adjust that there. If you feel at the bottom, you'll feel a little knob below the computer. If you pull mm -hmm. that, you can move the computer around. So if it's ever in your way or something, you know, feel free to adjust that. I don't want you to be uncomfortable or anything. Okay. Um, now I got plenty of leg room here, so I think I'm fine there where it's at. Yep, and then you should be able to see that just fine. So you should, on that CAD, you should see um, if we're attached to a call, like any call notes, uh, the live map, for instance. Um, feel free to uh, to look at that. Looks like we got something going on already. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think we are good to go. Do you have any questions? Nope. Okay. Well, pretty one. 31, go ahead. Hey, Pop 3, hold the air for a minute. I got one that's failure to stop. He's flipping me off. We'll be at 3008 Marina Drive. You weren't kidding about that, then. Yeah. Alright, one of the units in the stop will ahead. In case it takes off. 33, I'm setting up as a chase car. User entered right, we're not going to go to that just because he was failing to yield. And it looks like the rest of the department's already there, oh, so... Oh, they recognize this individual. Stand by. Uh, it might, depending on who that is. Actually, maybe it'd be worth it to go to the other side. Yeah, the north side, you mean? Yeah. In case he takes off that way. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, because you've got, like, a couple units back there. They should be sufficient. I don't. Yeah. Can I say I don't think anything's gonna happen, but you really never know. Mm-hmm. Right, so we're 
gonna get gasoline. User here, joined your channel. Instead. Just because that one's a little occupied. Mind if I step out? Yeah, absolutely. If we're just getting gas or like something like that, like really the only time that applies is like if we're going. If we're on a call when you got the emergency lights on, basically. Yeah, I think I need to. Get in. Move it a little closer. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it doesn't go in the tires. I've seen the fire trucks fill up. They, they fill up on the tires. <laughs> 1033, come on over here and swap out with me. Never quite understood that yeah, one. He just turned his car back on just for information. You said your dad worked at Liberty City? Yeah, he was with the Liberty City uh, Police Department. Um... Unfortunately, he passed away when I was 16 on a line of duty death. Uh, he was serving a high risk warrant with the U.S. Marshals, and him and a, co a marshal got killed on that K on that warrant. Dang, you can detach me when I call. Yeah, right, sorry, right here, right I'm call. yeah, well, I'm over it. I'm, I actually went to go become a computer major because my mom doesn't want me to become a cop, and. Uh, I find that stuff so boring, I didn't want to do it for the rest of my life. I got the degree and stuff, but... So, for right now, I'm working... As far as she knows, I'm working at the 24-7, and uh, she doesn't know about me getting a job recently with Group 6. And that I want to become a cop, like my dad, but... I figured before I become a cop, I want to see what departments there are and actually make sure third I want to do it. We've got a third. Let's get him over here, actually. We're going to be getting him out. He's violent and violent and armed. Is that something you're still interested in becoming a cop? Yeah, definitely interested. I mean, I'm not so saying I'm going to, but it's something I'm definitely you. interested. I'm down here 2049. I got a bolo on his vehicle. Okay. So that's one of the reasons I decided to do a ride along. I went. You guys had an open house recently, and I got to uh, check it out. Paul Seven. Yes, I did. I, I didn't get to see all the. I didn't get to see yeah, all so the, the presentations, unfortunately. Joshua, he's right before the, the yeah, intersection for event. the 13th. So that was actually really cool. Yeah, I, I was uh, there, but I didn't away. like. I didn't get to see the traffic division and a few others. I got to meet your uh, your guy from Warrant and uh, Staff Sergeant Stefanelli with his canine and uh, aviation units. And then I got to see the game wardens, so I got to learn about all those. Uh, so 30, you want to send 31 down to O3's location? Yeah, you guys had that like the day before I got into the state, basically. Let's go ahead and get the channel. Oh, and they're going to be down there. Yeah, I see that. 33, get us the channel! Well, folks, we got our first call of the night. We got one, come 70. Thirty-three, white male, black shirt, black pants. We're running to the parking lot. Tank, I guess they fall. Yeah, you still, you're gonna stay in the car for this one when we get there. Yep. Getting back in the car, 1080. All right, Pothor, we got a 1080, new primary, we are in Nylon, secondary take calls. 33 secondary, we're going to be northbound Nylon, Nylon, left, 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 we're not going to be westbound Chola Springs, speeds are going to be 60 traffic light, and roads are dry, speeds are now 90 miles an hour, we're continuing westbound Chola. Once we get a third, we're going to go ahead and hit him, he's extremely reckless. We're going right, right, right on to now Algonquin, westbound Algonquin, and the 3024 block speeds are 70 and climbing still, no traffic, pit, pit, pit. Vehicle evaded pit, we're going to be getting on to Joshua, head to east on Joshua. He's got something strange on the top of his east bar. on Joshua, speed 60 and climbing, shots fired. Mm. Heavy shots. Numerous shots fired from the vehicle, five, six, seven shots now. Vehicle's approved. 33, take primary. 
Uh, actually both. It's a Civ ride along, and I may become a deputy. I haven't decided yet. I might become Leo. Put this way, I might become a Leo officer. Uh, I haven't decided what department <laughs> if I do. Um. Black pants with a black duffel bag. Anyway, now that the deputy ran off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to become a law enforcement officer, possibly with this character. I haven't decided 100%, but I decided I would do it through RP. Uh, so the sheriff's department had an, an open house first, and this character went to the open house. I've played the character technically three times now. So I went to the open house. I uh, opened 24 7 and. Shots fired, shots fired, one down. Start medical, 3052, I have him saved. Nope, that guy is giving me medics. And then um, BCSO had an open house recently, so this character went to that. One well, on three. And because of that, uh, we decided. The, uh, um, let's see, alien I decided to do the ride along with the Copy, working on sheriff's officers first. 33. Um, Access through southbound to Joshua, north to 3052. When he opened up the 247, he met Lieutenant Tate, and he's going to do a ride along with Metro next. And then possibly at some point in time, he'll do a ride along with um, with the state guys. Paulson, we got one non compliant 2050. Why the state just came flying up. Oh, seven. How many you got with you? It's just myself and ten. Ten for our breaking route. You said two zero five zero. All right, Paul. Three one fifteen at thirty fifty two. We need medical for GSWs. Montana, you got the air. Your call. All 10, all the air. We got a uh, individual here that's been applied for a warrant. Looks like it's a busy night for law enforcement tonight. and we got one out of the vehicle. User joined your channel. 105124 going to be out with 07. And show one detained. County Tango 33. 33. Uh, is scene code 4. Yeah, we're 10 4 medical. Can go ahead and roll in. 10 4, thanks. We got medical started on the subject. He is conscious and breathing. Alright, you all good? Yep. Yeah, I'm sure. I heard all the shots. Sound like somebody let out with an Uzi or something. Yeah, he didn't like us chasing him very much. Just like mm. That's an interesting place to put a wheelchair, too. Paul Tank County, can I get one times tow out here to 2050? 
Ten four one two out to two zero five zero. Let's uh, figure this out here. Thirty three update fire. The pulse is rapidly dropping on the subject. We're trying to stop the bleeding. Last unit calling, repeat this. 33, notify fire. Pulse is rapidly dropping. We're trying to stop the bleeding right now. Also, if you can get an ETA for them. 10 4. So strange somebody being hurt and not doing any medical on them. Okay. Um, stay in the car for now. Yes, sir. Right. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, I'll turn it so you guys can see what's going on over there. User disconnected from your channel. User joined your channel. Give me two mics on the medic for you. Yeah, I think medics are in the city tonight. County, uh, Fulton. Fulton. County two, three mics. Uh, County Tango 33, where are the GSWs located on the individual? All center mass, one straight to the left side. User joined your channel. I believe six GSWs, two sucking with chest seals on them. Oh, that guy's not doing so good. They might even need air mid. And there comes the fire department. I can hear the sirens. That's the colonel behind us. Actually, he's got fire. has got a lot of people on tonight. User joined your channel. Shouldn't need this, but just in case. And there's the engine. I can hear him.
County, Tango 33. Send it. Can you get one unit down to UTIL to lead uh, medic units to the scene they're struggling to locate, and another unit needs to prep area for air med? 10 4, we're not at the UTIL. It's at that little camp uh, just south of Joshua. 105, I got it. 10 4, thank you, 105. Um, is it the colorful oh, one? Okay. Yeah. 10 4. Okay. Um, yeah, the, so uh, landing zone 2048. We're still dealing with everything right now, but kind of what happened, as we saw, it turned into a pursuit. Um, got here and then uh, his car started. He, he is him. now completely pale and not responsive. I uh, started running from us and he pulled the firearm, and unfortunately, we had to uh, discharge our service. Uh, our service weapons. Mm hmm. So right now we're just dealing with trying to get him Last unit calling treated tonight. and... 33, so he's not conscious, radio, not breathing, the, uh, uh, airways obstructed and we can't get it out. Yeah, I heard something about a helicopter too. 10 4 I'll pass on. Yeah, I'm trying to find like what kind of area would work for that. I think that area where we parked earlier might be a good one, it's nice and flat. Yeah, I think you're right actually. Might have to convince the RV owner to move. Start a, or notify them CPR started. Yeah. Well, folks, we're about to see Air Metal Land. Uh, County 33, is the uh, LZ ready for uh, medic? Oh no, 3104. Yep, there's command. One of five, show fire on scene. Paul 10, copy all. And there's Medic 2. And Engine. County Tango 33, where's the LZ located? Fire's been informed for Rehab with the LZ. 10 4. Get out of the car. We're just gonna hang around, okay. uh, around here. We can uh, sit here and watch the helicopter, whatnot. Yeah, and I just gotta figure out how to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> a little tricky, eh? Yeah, awesome. it doesn't want to see the walk. County toad. I'll be back tonight. Maybe. Also, I'm showing the last unit. Or ah, now I jumped out. Okay. <laughs> right. I see they have parked all the vehicles. For I guess they're gonna do the landing zone over there. Yep. Yep. Ten four one. I'm showing you back ten eight. Uh, would you like me to transfer you back to state? Yeah, 10 4 and say you just go available. You can. 10 1. 10 4. Uh. Earlier? I'm. Honestly, I wasn't really paying attention. Ah, oh, okay, I'm not worried about it then. <laughs> I mean, I can hear you. Uh, no, now. <laughs> Hello, sir. How's it going? Pretty good. Seems to be my first ride along is pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, one for the, you know, ages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. status. Oh, wait, wait. Mm. disregard your 1015. Sorry. I don't even know who's investigating that. Paul Seven County. Paul Seven, go ahead. Can you keep that call open for Paul Senate for investigative purposes? 
Ten four, I'll leave it open. Yep. No, the good guys are okay, so that's all that matters. True enough. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of worried when I heard all those gunshots. It sounded like the guy had an Uzi or something. I don't know if any BCI wants to write down here. Take your Neither that. There was a lot of gunshots in rapid procession, but it sounded like a automatic yeah. machine gun of some type. Pause seven. I can route. Oh. Oh. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna look over this direction. Yeah. How's he doing over there? Uh, he got a faint pulse back. Um, yeah, yeah. He had CPR in progress for a little bit. User joined your channel. Better now. Yeah. I think he had a brain freeze. Yeah. Paul 3, Keone. Paul 3, go ahead. We're also gonna need at least two uh, apparatuses to tow. You gotta say that's where you want the bird to land, yeah? Yeah, he's gonna need a bird yep. to land. Okay. 33 to the state just... unit setting up the um, oh. landing zone. Can you throw flares down per fire? 103, there's already flares down. Yeah, I can get the radio, by the way. Paul, three, was that a request yeah. for tow? He looks so really young to be a lieutenant. 10-4 is going to be uh, county 205 next. I just look young. Mm. Nah, nah, he should still be a baby. That's what I mean, the firefighter with the orange helmet. He looks awful oh, young. Oh, is that a lieutenant? I thought that was like a... Yeah, I think, that, I think those are lieutenants with those orange helmets. I think they're probationaries I read in the literature wear pink helmets. Yeah, honestly, I don't pay too much attention to that kind of stuff. Mm. Are we safe standing here with the way that guy was flying earlier? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. I'm just sitting there and bending. Anything. Really noisy. But I can't hear you. Oh, exactly. Not gonna hold onto your hats. Luckily, I don't have one. Onto your hair. That looks like it's got a little bit of a lisp. Yeah, that's not the. I mean, there's nowhere easy to land. Yeah, looks pretty rough. Yep. Uh, well, let's go get oh, so show me out thirty ten with the, the uh, man down. For do you guys? Do you guys state troopers do ride alongs as well? Uh, yeah. Cool. I might have to yeah, ride uh, along with you guys sometime. Um, all the way back there. Yeah. There are all the people standing. Also, I'm showing you out at 3010. Thank you. Repeat the call description, please. Uh, yeah, if you go to our uh, website, um, mm -hmm. you'll be able to find the uh, right along submission form there. Um, okay. You... Thanks. Yeah, where did everyone... Yep, no problem. Oh. Uh, the team, uh, the patient's still be in here. You can okay. wait by the car. Uh, you just come with me, actually. It's pretty cool. Okay. You're not, uh, you don't get sick, seeing blood or nothing like that, do you? Nah, I don't know. Okay. Guess we'll find out. 
Yeah. If you want to find out, you can with me. If you'd like to wait in the car, you can wait. Well, if I really want to be a cop, I have a feeling I'm going to be seeing blood at some point in time, so I guess it'd be better to find out now than later. Okay. Unless, of course, you guys never see any blood. No, I'm, I, I, can't on, I cannot honestly say that we never see blood, so... Yeah, well, then... Are y'all okay? Did y'all get hit? Y'all check yourselves no, over? Yeah, yeah, we got we got checked ready. Okay. Yo, Walker. What's up, Major? Have your ride along. You can go to that Explorer. I don't want to make closer. It's messy as hell. Sounds good. Yeah, looks like they're moving them. Just sit tight by the Explorer here, we're not going to be very long, just... Okay. Just do for the investigatory stuff. One of, car 103 will be assist back to me. 103 is showing back to me, I'm going to be back to state for you. Thank you. I need to find a walk style. I don't wonder what this is all about. User joined your channel. Count to any of the units at the uh, scene at uh, 3052. Are any of y'all tech meds? To another location? It's uh, the call including Tango 3, Tango 33, Tango 31, and Paul 7. What's the reasoning? I believe they're already flying them out. 10 4, yes, I just got word to disregard. 10 4. Um, same will be code for lemon investigation at this location. Okay. Temper. So, kind of what's going on there? Um, our lieutenant came out, which is uh, part of our investigations team. So, she just needed statements from us and, and investigating the scene, what happened, how many shots were fired from each deputy, and just basically investigating to determine whether or not it was uh, a justified shooting and and all that. Yeah, I think I caught part of her speech yeah, at the open house. Yeah, so, you know, you can see how it's very, uh... 
It seems like it's a lot of excitement for 10, 15 minutes, and then it's like uh, lots of detail work oh, afterwards. I, I did not fire, oh, yeah, fire her at all. Just, I'm gonna have you bring me to the station when she's good. So my yeah. car's completely disabled. Yeah, sure. He took out right. two of my tires. We're gonna follow the I actually yeah, I shot, I shot for, him. Right? I shot him twice to my windshield because of how close I was huh? to him. Huh? We rarely do that, but in the proximity, how close he was, it was way too dangerous, so. Yeah, I tried to take it. him out. Yeah, that actually was, uh... That was probably one of the most exciting calls, and... Like I said, I hope you oh, I, get, I don't want to say exciting, because... No yeah, it was more scary than anything, but... Yeah, I'm sure once the, once the shots start going off. It's not like a war zone photo law. Yeah. That's probably one of the bigger calls in a couple of Can I pull months. seven? Would you like me to show all units back tonight? Negative. We'll still be on a investigation hold. Yeah, because we do with firearms all the time, but most of the time they're not shooting back at us. Um, what do you need from me? Um, overall, uh, probably, I just need to check your mag and a statement, a written statement from you, or emailed, whichever. Okay. Well, here's my service weapon. Alrighty. Did he fire at your weapon as well? Did I fire or did he fire at me? Did he fire at your, I'm sorry, did I, I messed that up. Did he fire at your vehicle as well? Did it take any damage? No, I was in the way back, so... Okay. Me. Hey, 33, if we want to get a warrant for blood draw on that mail, it's definitely DUI. With at least the marijuana and possible alcohol. Alright, I'm going to take your mag, but I'm going to give you back your gun. Okay. You say you want me to pull a warrant? Or do we have a warrant? Here you go. Oh wait, that's not Rosella. <laughs> wait, Mage. So, okay. You said you wanted me to pull a warrant? Alright, and just All a right. statement whenever and... Oh, call 10, 10, 14. Message uh, yeah. I'll, uh, that call too, I'll email you to the cat. I appreciate it. 10-4, yeah, show Jerry, you 10-14. Uh, am I good to clear? Yeah, you're good. Oh, disconnected okay, from your channel. Four um, actually, a few pill bottles are on the passenger floor. I haven't looked at the rooms. Hey, Major, am I good to clear? Um, I need you to look at the pill bottle labels real quick. I'm gonna hand you, and then yes. Okay. Just look at the label, see if they're his, see if they're stolen from who. Okay. Here. So this is a lot of of what the job is. You see, like this after thirty three. Do we have any warrant deputies on? Activity goes down. It's just kind of processing, getting all the evidence. I can get it once I'm done with this. Uh, whatever this investigation. I'll shoot the information over to you. Yeah, it can seem like it's a lot of follow up. Like I said. See what this comes back to. I'm sure. Be cocaine, or it's going to be the weed again. I don't know what. Let's see what we got going on here.
Yeah, these labels are kind of hard to read. Yeah, it doesn't help, but it's dark. I know. Guess you guys need some portable spotlights or something. Yeah, yeah looks like the labels have been removed. Let me see if I can identify any markings on the actual pills. Cocaine possession as well. Yeah, the labels were torn off, so I'm trying to see if I can see any markings on the actual uh, pills. Yeah, he's possibly intoxicated by cocaine as well. We already know weed, but he's got a. We have smears of cocaine on the brick of weed itself, so there might be a mix of both. Here. Yeah, no. Nothing. I'll we'll just send them out to the lab and get tested because there's no markings and no sure. labels, so. Okay. You have an evidence bag on there? Should I grab one? Yeah, you can grab another one in the back where it gets towed. County Potter. County fall through? Fall through, go ahead. Is it county tow or do we have rotation tow coming down here? There's tow. I believe it called county tow five minutes ago. About oh, five minutes ago, yeah. Sound for let me see him. Uh, I don't know, he's just idling over there. I see he's got shit on the trailer, so he's definitely not for us. Um, where do you want the pills? Just bag it and send me it. Send me that. What you bagged and give it into okay. the Okay. Also, he had four fake IDs. Oh, fun. You have any questions about that? No. Seems like it was a pretty crazy guy, though. Yeah, it's not too often we get people like that. I mean, it happens, but like... That unit that's leaving the scene, if you can make contact with that vehicle that's idling outside, make sure they're 10-4. 31 copies. Uh, gotta get out of here down here, I think. Yeah, I think there's an interest right here. Mm. 
Yeah, it looks like it's a metal arm care truck. Yeah, just, uh, stay in the car. Like, okay. What's going on? Sticky to his head. Mm. Maybe that's why he pulled over where he did. Maybe he's taking a little nap. 33, I'm clearing. I'm in route to the station on this. 33, showing you clear. Thirty-one. Vehicle idling on North Bondrash was going to be clear. I believe he's in his head. So how long have you been with the department? Oh gosh. Um, about a year now. Hmm. I'm assuming you like the job. I'm sorry? I said I'm assuming you like the job. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's something I always wanted to do. Um, you know, like I grew up in Sandy Shores here, right on Island Avenue, so it's like, this is just kind of like my area. And your backyard, uh, basically. Users yeah, exactly. Channel. You know, so I've, I've always kind of grown up around the department, and uh, you know, I mean, what can I say? I love User what I do. Your channel. That's good. Yeah, that's one thing I can't say about the computer IT stuff. I mean, I can do it. I just don't enjoy doing it. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing about this too. Is like, you know, every 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 day is different. You might have one day. Right, where Thirty-three. I'm back tonight. You're doing like absolutely nothing. The next you day, you're flying from call to call because it's just so busy. I gotta say that does sound interesting. It's just something about sitting in a cubicle, typing away code for eight, ten, twelve hours a day. Just doesn't sound appealing to me. Same thing yeah. every day. Just another line of code. Just yeah, a I cog in the machine. That. Yeah, I tried it for a little while, but uh, I wish I would have known it before I got the degree. But oh well. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's kind of a tough spot to, you know, cause like when I started, my family wasn't like the most supportive, you know, obviously it's kind of the stereotype of like, oh no, like what if something happens? What if I get hurt? And it's like, well. Yeah, that's one thing I'm not looking forward to is telling my mom when, I, when if I do apply. I don't think she's going to take it well while. Well. You know, I mean, it's a valid concern. Like, 100% is... Yeah. Uh, but, um... You know, like, a lot of officer deaths, um... If you look at the statistics, a lot of the officer deaths are, like, traffic-related. They're on a traffic stop, and some guy's just not paying attention and just rails. Yeah. Uh, well, that's no good either. Like, that's why the move, move over laws... User exist. in your you channel, time down. And, uh, you know, just no good. But... I mean, the bottom line is, um, you know, oh. Can I tell you, it's what uh, units have cleared off of the Zenith uh, 3052. Oop. 31, you can show me clear. 31, showing you clear. Um, Paul saying? 7, you can show oh, all yeah. units clear. Paul 7 will be now known as Whiskey um, 7. I'll be 1060. If you look at the desk, like the officer desk that are like, actually Whiskey like, 7, showing you test. job shootings and that, like, a lot of the times you could boil it down to they did something wrong. Or a high risk. Or a high risk like the one that my it's dad was on. I mean, he knew it was risky, but he got a kick out of doing those types of jobs. Yeah. I you mean, know, he, but... he was going after, you know, felons with multiple records that said they were never going back to jail. I mean. Yeah. That's the tough part. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, he, but he so, said he always said somebody's got to do the job. I might as well do it. Well, that's kind of 
kind of what I said too. I don't know if you're if you read into like juvenile or not juvenile justice, just criminal justice politics at all. But uh, you know, you'll find that our our juvenile justice system is is more so focused on rehabilitative uh, services, um, and then our criminal like our our adult system is more so like a punitive, you know, more yeah. punishment and. Uh, I don't know. I almost feel like a rehab-focused uh, system would almost be way more beneficial. Yeah, sometimes, but I'm not... Like, the guy that shot my dad, I mean, he had a long streak of uh, yeah. murders and stuff like that. I mean, and like I said, when they went in, they knew it was risky. I mean, that's why they went with such a large force. Uh, my yeah. dad just volunteered to be in the front. Which is pretty much the riskiest job you can do, from what I understand. But um, the guy fired a shotgun through the door and hit my dad and the and, and the, the deputy in front of my the marshal in front of my dad and my de- dad. For whatever reason, they decided not to use a shield for that one. But I think it was because the shield was too big to fit through the door. Thirty-three ten seven for like five mics. But like I said, that's kind of why my mom's against me becoming a cop because she thinks I'm going to do that kind of stuff and. I don't think I want to do warrant work. I don't think I. I think I would freeze up, knowing what yeah. happened to my dad. Well, like I said too, like once you once you go through the academy, if you do end up pursuing it, you'll find that you're, you're trained a very specific way, and um, you know, usually as long as you follow the training, you know, and and exactly as you have been trained. You know, you you almost always have the upper hand if anything were to happen. Yeah. You know, like in that scenario there, right? Like, I would say the the primary issue of of that was like not having the shield, right? And that you know, I mean, it may not be able to fit through the door, but you at least have it up there so in case that you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you know how the Liberty City cops are, probably. They're not. They do things I've differently. Never, yeah. You know, I've only seen this stuff on uh, on the television and whatnot. I've well, you know the stuff where they think they're bulletproof. It. You know how they think they're, they they yeah. they think they're bulletproof most of the time. So I mean, well, especially the guys in that unit. Yeah, I think I think Liberty City is the largest uh, police force in America. I'm not. That's sure one of them. But they have so many. I don't know how they managed all that. They have a lot of. Oh, I didn't realize the county went all the way up to here. Yeah, so we're actually. Um, if we would have continued left and took the next left, that would have been uh-huh. the county line. Okay. So we're like just before county line. We go up uh, to the observatory every once in a while and. Make sure it's all clear. Yeah. yeah. But so, what's your favorite division or subdivision in the department? Oh, yeah, traffic, hundred percent. Traffic. Kind of wish I would have been able to listen to the traffic one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's rare. Um, I don't think I've driven a patrol cruiser like this in uh, in a while. I'm always traffic. Mm-hmm. Um, but I figured. For the ride along, it'd be best just to show off what general patrol is like. Yeah, it's not. It's really not that much different. Like traffic, really, the only thing is, is you go to like all the MBAs and investigate that. And, uh, oh, so there's a lot of investigation with uh, traffic accidents and stuff. Yeah, um, you know, it's weird. Kind of a stereotype within uh, within traffic is if you're in traffic, you don't like um, investigations or like the primary investigations. However, like you're fine with doing like traffic investigations. It's, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> mm. It's like you like investigating, but only like certain types. Yeah. Sort of like a specialization. Yeah. I, I'd say the coolest part about being in traffic is um, being able to do um, field sobriety with DUI mm. and individuals. I gather that's why the major handed you the pills. Um, not really. I mean, from your channel. you know, I mean, obviously today we're not in a traffic unit or anything. Like, we're just a regular unit, but it's just kind of like the thing where the bolt, which was the other deputy. So, yes, it's going to be at a channel time unknown. 
was uh, preoccupied and I was just there, so it was uh, convenient for him. I thought it was maybe since there was a traffic stop to begin with and it was drugs with the DUI stuff that maybe that led into it. Yeah. Yeah, but we try to come up here in the hills and uh, patrol this pretty heavily because um, not of recently, but like last month there was a lot going on up here and not a mm. lot of us coming up here, so it was kind of like a getaway zone type of thing. Yeah. And with all these hills, you could probably hide pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. And they're all, like, twisty and turny, so if you're not... You know, say a pursuit does come up here and you're not right on them, like, it's so easy to lose someone up here. Yeah. User joined your channel. I think I read there was a bad wreck around here somewhere recently, too, in the news. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it was about a couple months ago, right before I moved, right, right as I was moving into the city. I'm actually going to be disconnected from uh, the in my brain for one second. Okay. So, folks, how do you like this so far? User left your channel. User disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your channel. User left your channel. User disconnected from your channel. Apologies, I am almost done. Yeah, no problem. I think there's a loco or something behind us on the motorcycle. He ran off in the mountain, now he's passing us. Crazy people.
user disconnected from your channel. Radio's been pretty quiet since uh, mm -hmm. since that whole afternoon again. Yep. No, it's like you said earlier. I guess it's uh, periods of lots of action with uh, a little bit of slowdown investigation and then nothing for a while. Yeah. You know, like I said too, there's days like this where that might be the only thing that happens today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then yeah. the next day, uh, you know, next day it could be just absolutely flooded. Yeah, that's what my dad used to say too when he was, uh, before he became joined the, uh, you know, high risk warrant division, he was a a uh, patrol officer. And for a while, he was actually a foot patrol officer until they totally got rid of him in Liberty City. And he, he said he used to miss the foot patrol once. Because you really got to meet the people in the community and talk to them. Call three back tonight. That is um, one of the coolest parts, and it's especially nice too. Because I'm one of the I'm one of the two public information officers for the department. Mm -hmm. So it's like I really get to have like I, you know, I get to have the most interactive experience with the public. Especially you know, you mentioned the open house. You know that like that was my first public event that I set up and and did all that so that was like really it was cool good it was it was definitely one reasons why i decided to do it right along with you guys first because i got to see so much about you guys as department to start with and you know the others really there's not a lot of information about them okay they got the website and stuff but that doesn't tell you a whole bunch yeah exactly are you looking at like uh, okay a better question would be like what type of police work are you interested in doing like, tango 33 i'm back tonight are you interested in like traffic side of things or? Truthfully, I don't know yet. Yeah. I, I first well, I want to decide if I want to join, and then I got to decide, you know, do I want to patrol in a city? Do I want to join the county? I mean, I seem to, even though I grew up in Liberty City, I seem to like the county better. I just had red lights, and I just don't know if I want to sit through a bunch of red lights all day. See, I was just gonna say that too. You know, up here in the county, it just feels not only does it look better. And I'm sure the air is, I don't go down to the, to the city very much, but I'm sure the air is probably <laughs> better quality. Yeah, up here. I was uh, working at the 24 seven in the city to one day, it wasn't too bad, but you know, and then there's the state troopers, but from what I heard, it's really hard to get into their, them. Seven, and I'll be 10, seven, I don't know if I want to deal with that heartbreak of applying and being denied. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't get so. me wrong. Don't get me wrong, LSPD is an amazing agency, but uh, I don't know, it's just, like I said, I grew up in San Diego Shore, so this is just kind of like my area. Yeah, well, I grew up in Liberty City, so that's more of a city environment, but like I said, if they had a, if they have a foot patrol, I might be interested in that, but I think the days of foot patrol are pretty much gone. Yeah, most likely here. I mean, it's just... You got need more. If you're doing foot patrols, you need more cops for first area. What got one officer in a patrol car can cover so much more ground than a guy on foot. Well, I've seen the thing about about uh, Liberty City though too is it's so compact. I mean, everything's in like very in, like in close proximity to one another. Where like foot patrol units like are Tango thirty three traffic. And, yeah, but they, like I said, they got rid of them originally, too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. My dad was a foot off patrol officer until they basically did, got rid of them all. They said, you know what? You guys are going into patrol cars or you're going to do something else, but we're not doing... F because, like I said, they could cover so much more space. The only thing they did differently is they put two officers in one patrol car. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they just felt it was better. Yeah, the problem with that is you gotta have double the manpower. Like all the communities surrounding Liberty City went with one officer in a patrol car. They could have twice the number of cars on the street, 
with a bigger footprint and more, you know, more visibility than Liberty City did with with their two officers per car. Yeah, well, see, that's just it too, though. Is like visibility and deterrence. I like think that's that's another big factor as well. Yeah, and that's why they decided getting rid of the uh, patrol car, the uh, foot patrols, because there was they weren't as visible. Yeah. You know, police car like this is a little hard to miss. Absolutely. Right, step out for me real quick. Yep. But yeah, I mean, um, you know, like I said, I will say all the agencies like around San Andreas are amazing agencies. You know, LSPD is as... You know, it's a really good agency, state's a really good agency, and then obviously there's 33 us. dark on the Eunice and Polito. You might have something. I'm looking at live map, we know what do you got? Red Mustang, pirate speed, westbound, Great Ocean right now, trying to catch up. You going through Polito? Yeah, I'm pretty far back, I don't know if I'll catch him, but he's probably already in Polito by now. We'll go, uh, I'm on 68. I'll try to hit GOH in 68 and see if he comes down. Day 4, it's an older model red Mustang. Um, didn't get a clock on him, but it was visually estimated pirate speed. I got him, he's in the gas station off of, uh, 13 in Polito Boulevard. I'm gonna wait to see if I can get PC on him. Time for him canceling. We'll roll that way just in case something happens. I don't anticipate anything. But... Yeah. But yeah, like I said, the whole thing with that with Liberty City, they decided that uh, you know they could put the officers in a patrol car and have more visibility. Yeah. And they, the, the the other aspect of it is they gave each off each group of officers more area than the one foot patrol would patrol. So they actually cut the number of officers they needed by putting them in cars and putting two in a car. Which is why they put two in a car. Is the traffic as bad as everyone says it is? Oh yeah, it's... That was... It was kind of funny when the foot patrol was around. Sometimes the foot patrol officers got to somebody before the... <laughs> the, the officers in the uh, patrol yeah. car. And the, the thing my dad liked most about it was, you know, he didn't have to transport. Yeah. He never had yeah, to transport. Right? <laughs> if even if he, he made arrests, he 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 could always pass it on to one of the guys in the car. <laughs> yeah. Thirty three I'm clear from the last stop with the rubber warning I'm back in. Yeah, so the officer uh, or rather the deputy that you're hearing over the radio is uh notorious for just like getting a lot of traffic stops. Uh, you know, seeing the traffic times, division. Yeah, he is. He's he's pretty much always running uh, running traffic. But anyway, it's like there's the times like this where it's like we're looking for someone to pull over, and then he's meanwhile he's got like three traffic stops. It's like where are these people coming <laughs> from? <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just a traffic stop magnet. That's the, one of the running jokes. <laughs> Well, yeah, I tell you what, uh, first time I uh, had a full uniform on, I had to get in it, like, in and out of a car. It was quite the experience. User joined uh, your channel. You know, you watch, like, Cops or Live PD or something like that, and they make it look easy. And then you do it yourself with, like, a full <laughs> belt on and a vest, and it's like, wow, you... I can already like, notice with the, with this vest on, it's a little bit more interesting to get it on. So I can't imagine yeah. with a duty belt and everything else. Yeah, you, know, you gotta arrange it in a way that when you get in, it's not like dig it into your back or anything mm. like that, too. I'm sure you get a system going after a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After many sore too. backs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yep. And something tells me, even if I asked you exactly how you did yours, it wouldn't necessarily work for me. <laughs> yeah.
That's a nice view in front of you right now. Nice yep. blue ocean. Yeah, I like sitting out here. No one really sits on the side uh, of the stake. Mm. Every once in a while you get someone out here, but most of the time it's like, especially when I'm running traffic, I'll come out here and just sit and kind of quiet, to be honest, calming. Yeah, and you got a nice view of the ocean. And I would imagine this is a pretty big foreign junction right here. Yeah, you know, 68 is uh, a very major roadway that runs like right through the middle of the county. And yeah. obviously there's GOH here, so it's like if someone's coming up or down from the, uh, you know, either up from the city or down from the county, you know, this is... They have where they're going to gonna pass. One way or yeah. Well, and if and you're... At the, go ahead. No, I was going to say, like, if you're up in the city at, at the beach and you want to get down to the county, you pretty much have to take either this way or 13. Yeah. Yep. You know, and, and when that happens, too, is, you know, like, we work very closely with LSPD, so, you know, and them for, and they work close with us, too, so if they got anything that comes up here, or we have anything that comes down there, you know, it's, it's a, we have a very close working relationship, and, you know, that's why I vouch for them, too, like, if you are still interested in working down there or up here, it doesn't matter, you know, because they're all very good agencies, regardless of where you work. Yeah, well, that was the impression I got, it's just a matter of which one's the right agency for me, if more than anything else, you yeah. know. Yep. And I will say the one one nice thing about the city is there's not as many stoplights. I think I'd go crazy. Yeah, yeah. This, I think I'd go crazy patrolling in a city with all those stop signs and stoplights and red lights and stuff. And you can only used to make so many right on reds before you go crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then you're just circling the same block just so you don't have to stop for a yeah. stop sign. Hoping you get a green light on the next one so you could go in a different direction. Yeah, we always poke fun at them when, when we're working with them about that. <laughs> I'd imagine they sometimes get a higher call volume, though, with all the people in the city and stuff. Yeah, they do. Um, and like I said, it's, it's a lot like uh, Liberty City, too, you know, where their calls are a lot more compact. And then you come up here and User our calls are a lot more channel. spread out. Well, I mean, just looking where you, we've gone today, I mean, we've only touched probably a quarter of the county. But you've been in yeah. a lot of roads and stuff, so. Exactly. You know, and, and it's always different, too. Like, like today, for instance, um, on the assignment board, we are down here in the Southern Precinct. So the Southern, basically, the Southern Precinct is like anything below Sandy Shores, pretty much. Like below Calafia. Oh, okay. And, uh, the, the North Precinct is great Grapeseed and Cleto and all that stuff, right? So it's like, it also depends on the precinct. If you're in the North, Northern Precinct and like Cleto or Grapeseed, you may not have a whole lot to do, whereas the Southern Precinct may be busy. Or sometimes it's the opposite, where the North Precinct is busy and the South Precinct is... is do you guys ever have to cross precincts to help out the other precincts and stuff? Oh, all the time. That's very common, yeah. Yep. Or like, for instance, if uh, all of the Southern guys are held up and there's, you know, no one to patrol the Southern Precinct, they'll send a guy from North and then take that spot while uh while the call is being handled or so like when we were when we were at the scene with the shootout some of the northern one of the northern guys might have come down to patrol the south precinct yep. at that time so the bold actually uh is northern but he was there um just for assistance oh, okay i guess you guys they divide the the the, the, the officers on do or deputies on our duty like half and half pretty much yeah, as best they can. Usually we try to have more emphasis on the Southern Precinct just because there's like more active areas. Um, like Sandy, for instance, is very active. But generally speaking, they try to divide it as equally as they can. Well, and you guys are more likely probably to go to, to Metro District and to help them as well versus the Northern yeah. guys. A lot of the time, it's actually them coming up here to help us, believe it or not. 
Oh, the city out here. Uh, they must have a lot of extra officers. Wow, that pickup truck, well, don't know what he was yeah, doing. I yeah, I see it all the time, and it's like, do you know how to drive? <laughs> You'd think they wouldn't do something in front of, like that in front of a police officer. Yeah, that's always funny, though, too. Everyone, you can tell everyone slows down when you're around. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of noticed that, like, these folks in front of you are, like, driving really, really, really slow, because, oh, God, there's a cop in my mirror viewer. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yep, I'd say probably some of the two most busiest roads are uh, Joshua, which is what we're on now, and then uh, 68, which is what we were on. Well, aren't both of them like pretty much the east-west quarters of the county? Uh, At least in this set part of the county? Well, they're major transit ways, right? Like, so for instance, 68 goes from all the way from 13 to GOH, whereas Joshua... And, well, Joshua leads to 68 and then also goes over to 13, so it's kind of like a connector. Yeah. So it's like, you know, to get to from point A to B, if you're in the county, like you need to be on one of these major roads. So I guess you guys hit these roads up pretty mo heavily. Yeah, yeah, pretty frequently. And then the other thing you try to balance out as well is like look into live map kind of look where you are and where other units are and uh make sure you're not all bunched up in one spot yeah exactly like for instance if someone's in sandy and they've been there for a while like if you move in hopefully they get the clue and uh you know like you kind of like relieve them almost when if they're ever going to rebuild that hotel Excuse me, you know, I don't know. There's been uh, a lot of loitering that happens at the hotel. I can imagine. It's worn down as that place is. I'm supposed to... It hasn't been torn down or something yet. Yeah. I think it'd be a lot... Of, it'd bring a lot of business if it did open. And there, there you got an abandoned fire station, it looks like. Yeah, so that was that... We have a, the, I can't comment too much on really what just the, what the major had said at the briefing earlier. But oh, is that where that business was located at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I heard him talking about that. Yeah. Hmm. So you live in the county as well, or do you live up by the city, or? No, right here in Sandy Shores, or uh, yeah. right off of uh, Nyland Avenue. Nice. So you could walk to work. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, the nice thing is though too is uh, one of the added benefits of being a public information officer is you get a uh, take-home car, ah, the unmarked, and it looks like a regular Explorer. I guess you got to respond sometimes off-duty. Um, not really. On it, like we're we're not even when I am on duty as public information, which is rare. You're not really supposed to respond um, unless it's like an emergency. Because it's an unmarked car, right? Like no, like no one's able to identify you. Okay. Gotta love the drivers and Sandy. User joined your channel. Out here, okay. Yep. Um, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying though. Oh yeah, you can't, you know, it's kinda of harder to identify you, so if you want yeah. to get misidentified and and you know, something could go very wrong. You don't want to be mistaken for a fake cop or something. Uh fake cop or you know, like the other day there was a scene up in Polito 
where uh, there was a pursuit and we had boxed this guy in and then all of a sudden like a just a blue Mustang pulls up and I'm like who's this guy so I, I'm pointing my gun at him and here it's a an officer for Metro in uh, oh in boy Mustang so it's like oh you know that's the worst thing to do is flag someone with your with your barrel <laughs> especially when they're on your side especially when they're higher up in your side too yeah right I mean, could you imagine if he did that to, like, the, the, the chief of the police or something? <laughs> I'm sure there would be some words exchanged. I'm sure your sheriff wouldn't, be, wouldn't time, be too happy about that. You know, but at the same time, like, is it really my fault, though? I mean, you're in a completely unmarked, like, vehicle. I can't see that you have a uniform on, and you just pull up to the scene, which is already, like, high stakes. It's like, well, you know. You'd think he'd at least keep his lights on or something. Something to make it that he might be a cop. Yeah. Is there a bumper sitting next to that car back there? I'm not sure. User disconnected from your channel. No, Send me that pick you took yesterday. So what's your favorite patrol car? That's a tough one. <laughs> you know, I like this, the FPIU. Yeah. Um, just because it's so versatile. You know, like, it can do pretty much everything. You know, if you need to go off-road, it can do that. If you're just driving, it's good at that. You know, like, it's a pretty good car. But uh, I think ultimately I've got to say uh, the other car that I take out is the, uh, the traffic ET Charger. Are your guys' this charges for all wheel drive or just rear wheel or front wheel? Rear wheel, yeah, just rear wheel. Yeah, that it could be a little bit problematic if you're on the back on some of these uh, dirt roads. Yeah, so like I said, you know that's why I like this too, because I mean, it could do everything, right? And it's got a lot of space yeah. in it too. It's easier to get in and out of. It's mm -hmm. a little bit higher than the charger. Oh yeah, it's definitely nice to, being sitting up like this. Yeah, see, I actually have, uh, as a car, I got a 1969 uh, Mustang that uh, oh, it was actually, a, well, see, it's also got, so it's not just the value of the car and the, and the type of car. Me and my dad were actually were trying to restore the car before he passed away yeah. or before he was killed, basically. And uh, so when I turned 18, I actually inherited the car or got the car officially in my name, basically. And then I completed the restoration on it myself. So that car isn't just, you know, it isn't like a typical young young adult with a User fast sports car. It's a, it's it's the last thing, it's one of the last things I got of my dad, basically. And there's all those memories of me and my dad working on the car together and, you know, you know, fixing it up and getting it in a working condition. And, you know, like I said, when he, when he got killed, the car just sat there for several years, and then when I turned 18, I actually got the car legally. I mean, it was in his build for me to have it, but I couldn't own it until I was 18, basically. Yeah, you know what? I tell you what, my I think honestly, my dream car is probably like a like a 1971 Charger, probably. Yeah, Chargers are nice, but and we were when we, we yeah. Well, I think that has a lot to do with that old TV show, The Dukes of Hazard. They wrecked so many of making <laughs> yeah, that show. Yeah. There aren't many left. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> but you know, we we looked. That was one of the cars we looked at. We looked at several different cars to do as a project car, and then we found this. We were out in a, out in the uh, boondocks near Liberty City one day, and came across this charger in a barn during there was in a barn for an old couple and uh, I guess it belonged to their kid who got killed in a war or something and they wanted to get rid of it and so we bought it it didn't run or anything we dragged it back and you know it just spent a lot of hours trying to fix it and get it working you guys always have boars just walking along the streets Oh yeah, well, especially mm -hmm. where we are now. Like this is all farmland. Uh, not, well, maybe not farmland, but it's like a cattle farm. Yeah. 
I just didn't think you would have a boar walking down the side of the road. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see that and uh, cows pretty frequently. Uh, yeah, there's one up there, I think. Or no, that's a reindeer. Or a deer. He's got some mighty big antlers on him, too. Yeah, you, you know, you'll see uh, a lot of cows up in Grapeseed. You don't take these, uh, you don't take these roads very often. These are, I think these are old, like, player service roads. Mm. But, uh... It's nice every once in a while just come out here and make sure no one's, uh... You know, doing anything. Up to nefarious to deeds or something. Yeah. The nice thing about these roads is they all connect. So, like, for instance, we were back there on our way. We'll get to uh, 68 here in a second. It's like there's a lot of shortcuts through the county. Once you start, cool. you know, whether you live here or work here long enough, you kind of figure out all these different shortcuts you can take. And all yeah. that stuff. I can definitely see how having an explorer like this is a, is a good patrol car. Oh, 100%. If I was in the Charger, I don't think I could have been on those roads right there. Yeah. I would have damaged the belly of it or something. My dad was always a fan of the old Crown Vicks, but I'm sure those are hard to come by these days. Well, we have Crown Vic. I just despise it. Usually mm. I love Crown Vicks, but this one has got rotators on it. They haven't updated uh, on it for some reason. Oh, so what you're saying, it's got the light bar like my dad used to run. Yeah, uh, you know, and I can see how they might be, like, nostalgic and all, but, like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Back when light bars weren't aerodynamic. <laughs> I do gotta say, I kind of like the uh, Valor light bars. I've always been a fan of those. Yeah. They seem to have a lot of angles where you can see the car coming. Yeah, well, that's why we switched to them, too, just because, like, you're blocking a road and it's like the side profile is just much better for the Valor bars than it is for yeah. the, uh, the regular light bars. Normally, you don't see them, though, so much out in the country, more in a city type environment. User yeah. disconnected from your channel. I definitely see what you mean about 68, though. Yep. I'm going to be in my head for a minute or two. Yep. Okay, folks, I'm going to take a short break. I'll leave you with the screen, and I'll be right back. User disconnected from your channel.
user joined your channel. I see there's still no new action. <laughs> no, no, not even a traffic stop. <laughs> I figured I'd come back out of my head and you'd be in the middle of a 1080 or something. No, I won't be in my head real quick. Okay, dog. Um, so I'm not going to have a call sign yet. Uh, this, I'm actually Civ Primary. C3 and fire secondary, uh, still fire tech, of course. Uh, this character right here, User Robert Ryder, if I decide to join a law enforcement department, will be my law enforcement character. I decided that as part of the process of trying to decide if I'm going to be a law enforcement officer, uh, basically, I got, I, got, I got to the point that I'm I dread coming on fire, it's one of the reasons I haven't been streaming in a while. I just wasn't going to stream fire because I wasn't enjoying fire as much. I still enjoy fire, but uh, there's times I don't enjoy it as much. But then I've been doing fire for over two years straight now, and I think I wanted a little bit of a change. So I decided to go Civ Primary and Fire Secondary, in part because as a fire tech, I am allowed to respond off-duty if I want to. Uh, so some of the streams in the near future will be of Roth being off duty with the radio on and being able to listen to the calls but not be actually be responding unless requested by a lieutenant or there's a SAR call and there's no, uh, well, lieutenant chief or whatever, but, or if there's a SAR call and they, uh, it needs to be activated, then I can activate it if there's no line or chief officer on, which may not happen as much now that we have a lot of new lieutenants and stuff here for a couple more seconds or minutes or however long and then uh we'll see what happens sounds good uh so i don't also, know if i don't know if, a... if you got anything else planned for today but if you need to go back i'll just let me know and you can we'll do no nah, i got nothing else planned for tonight or today sounds good I kind of wanted to do a day where I didn't have anything else going on, so I wouldn't have to rush off to do something. Anyway, I don't know yet if I'm going to be a cop or not. I have you on the server. But I figured I might as well learn about the Leo departments a little bit as a civ. Take advantage of the ride-alongs and stuff. Uh, so I plan to do multiple ride-alongs. This is actually the first of many. Um, next ride-along will probably be with Metro, uh, possibly with Lieutenant Tate. Uh, one of the other times I played this character, I opened up 24-7, and I uh, met up Lieutenant Tate. He was in, he gave me his card, and uh, told me to ask for him when I did the ride-along form. So that's what I'm going to do. And then at some point in time, after I do that right along, I'm also going to do a right along with the State Department. And I might actually do a right along with Fire with this character as well. 
That might be a little interesting just so that I can say he's looking at all the emergency services. He's not going to go into fire. I mean, if I stay fire, if I go back to fire primary or something like that, then I'll pretty much be Roth. Uh, I'm not actually tired of playing Roth. I just, not as having as much fun and on duty as fire as I used to. So, I figured a little break might help. Well, uh, was it a couple, maybe a week ago, there was a ATM robbery right here at the bank. Just down the oh, that's interesting. I mean, that thing's out in the open. You'd think it'd be kind of stupid to try to hit that. <laughs> well, we did end up catching him. Let me guess the guy did it in front of a cop. No. Um, we found him up in Polito, and then it turned into a whole mm. thing up there. Five by five. Ten four, show Paul thirty five, ten forty one, ten eight. She sounds awful cheerful. Yeah. I haven't seen her on duty for a while. I think we got uh, opposite shifts, I think. User yeah, I'm sure that happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, that you're doing this more for deterrent sitting right out in the open. Yeah, exactly. Plus the yellow... 742, have a good night. Plus the yellow jacks right down the road. So if there's any wind that comes from there and down here. Ah, uh, drunk driving or User something. Disconnected from your channel. Yep. Definitely appears to be a fairly busy road. Constant. Do you guys have a minimum speed on the road? Because that truck, that, that RV is like driving really, really slow. <laughs> um, not really. I mean, I would say really the only time that like a minimum speed would be enforced is like <clears throat> if there's like a line behind them, like they're impeding traffic or something. Yeah. Generally speaking, if something's too slow to be on the road, uh, it's not legal to be on the road. So <laughs> makes sense. And I'm sorry, a lot of these people are slowing down because they see a cop. Oh, yeah. Like I said before, there's a lot of that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to miss a white patrol cruiser. Mm hmm. What's with the. I noticed some of the deputies were driving uh, black vehicles, and then some of you guys were driving white. What's up with that? Yeah, so <clears throat> all the regular, like, patrol deputies and stuff are, drive, uh, like, what we're in now the, the white. Uh, the white livery on it. And then um, if you're in traffic, you get like a blacked out variant. And then uh. like below all the signage, it'll say uh, traffic enforcement division. Or like the major, I don't know if you saw the major's truck. He would like put you on a marked truck. That's just, yeah. That's just I'm assuming because he's a major. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
fun of the perks you get from being uh, part of the administration. I guess after you've been a, been a been an office, a deputy for so long, you get tired of having to deal with people driving slow because they see your car, so you go with an unmarked. <laughs> yeah, you know that was uh, before we before we got our new fleet. Um, it was funny because every time you saw the sheriff, he'd be in a blacked out uh, explorer, and mm. you'd never see him in anything di different. Nowadays, when he comes around, though, you'll see him and uh, you'll see him in like this or or something else. Also, he hits the tr streets for patrols too. Uh, not very often, you know. He's he does like all the what do you call it? All like the admin work the and stuff. Yeah, all the political work, talking with like the city, the city leaders and the county leaders and all that. So it's like he's caught up with that a lot of the time. But when he can, he gets out on the road. Yeah, it sounds like the higher up you go, the more paperwork you have to do. Oh, a hundred percent. And the more political it becomes as well. Because then you got to start dealing with, like, the county workers and, you know, kind of the political side of, of, of the county and what services they want, what programs they're going to run. And... I gather this is the Yellow Jack. This is the Yellow Jack, yep. Doesn't look like it's too busy right now, but, uh... Keep an eye on that. User disconnected from your channel. Yeah, it's times like this where uh, it's kind of when I park somewhere and take a nap. But at the same time, you can't, you can't do that because then you might miss something on the radio or, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nice too. I don't, uh, I don't believe that uh, BCSD does that, but I know of some agencies that allow uh, like for your shift, they'll allow each officer like an hour. Like I think it's two hours of free time. Mm. Usually, that's reserved for like workout time. So like if your if your agency has a workout room in the police department or in the sheriff's office, whatever you work for, you can get two hours. Uh, you know, if it's gym focused. time or something. Yeah, exactly, and get get out of the vest and be able to take a shower and and all that. Check over the berms. Mm. A lot of people do uh, uh, some sketchy Not stuff. Not so good stuff here. here. Yeah, it just goes with the berm, right? It's it's like nobody ever peeks the crest. By it, but there's a giant hill here, right? So it's like you can get you can do a lot back here, and no one will ever know you're here. Well, and especially since you got some nice low level desert, you can't really see from the road or anything. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, as far as I'm aware, I believe you still have uh, a couple department openings as well. So I don't know uh, what your time frame is looking like, but if you're still interested and, and you decide to, the BCSDT is the department for you, and then I'm glad to have you. Yeah, one thing I don't want to do is rush it. I want to take my time, make yep, sure I thoroughly investigate, make sure it's really what I want to do. You know, 100%. make sure I can even ha handle it. Like I said, I mean, there's so that there's also the emotional impact of my dad doing this job and losing his life for it. So it's not going to cause me to freeze up at a critical moment that costs myself or somebody else their life. Yeah. I want to make sure I can act. I don't freeze up. So it's kind of good. There was all those crazy shots earlier because 
definitely didn't freeze up during that time, so of course I was a little bit distance away and fairly safe, but still. Yeah. You know, that's the thing that you don't really realize uh, until something happens. Just like you get, you know, you go to, you go to a scene and you just kind of, especially something as serious as that, but, or the same thing in medical calls too, is like you just kind of you go on autopilot. Like you don't really think about it. You just, you know, the old saying is like you go back to your training, and um, that could not be more true. Cause you you literally go on autopilot. And, yeah. My dad used to say, have a saying, bleed in training so you don't bleed on a job. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that is definitely a good saying. You know, that's the other thing too, is like, PCSD is super focused on training User too. Like we're, from we have one channel. of the best training programs, and uh, to even be eligible for promotions, you need to go to a, like a monthly training, and that could be like for instance, uh, June. Was it? I believe June. Yeah, it was June. Uh, the monthly training for June was about uh, uh, reasonable suspicion. Ah. Uh. Or probable cause versus reasonable suspicion. Lost MC, huh? Yeah. Did they cause a lot of puzzle problems? Um, they're usually pretty compliant with us. I haven't seen them uh, in quite some time, really, but. Mm. Usually when we have to go to like calls or something when they're there, they're... most of the time they're pretty compliant with us, which is nice. There's a lot of them and only a few of us. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there were some pretty big, bad, big, bad uh, motorcycle clubs in uh, Liberty City and you didn't want to mess with them. In fact, the guy that killed my my dad was, uh, I think, a sergeant of arms with one of them. Mm. Yeah, I see. And the thing is, just like uh, you know, twenty years ago, they're they're super. You know, all these gangs are super outgoing. You just drive down the road and you see, and you notice them. You see them, and nowadays they're a lot more discreet about where they are and what they do and how much they really show themselves to the public and whatnot. So it's like you've got, to, mm. you've got to look really hard to try to find them now. Mm. Could be because of all the bad press they've gotten in over the years, too. Yeah. Back to 68. Yeah, 68 panorama. At least it's not a rainy day today. Yeah, it's actually a nice day. It was super humid yesterday, but today it's uh, pretty nice. Are disconnected from your channel. It's like that driver didn't know which way they were going to turn. Oh, look at that. They went right around. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, they might be lost. You know, I suppose the one good thing about it being so quiet right now, and that's like the forbidden word too, but I guess, you know, I guess one good thing about it being so quiet right now is there's uh, not a lot of crime going on. Yeah, it's true. Maybe all the crazies took today off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you never know. How long is your shift for tonight? Um, let's see what time is it? Probably about another half hour, I want to say. Okay, cool. I'll stick around until you're in your shift if you don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. See if anything happens in that last half hour. And... If it doesn't, I mean, I'm, like you said, this is part of being a cop, you know? I want to do this, yeah. I got to be... And I'm guessing for you, at least today, it's not so bad because you got somebody to talk to. Oh, yeah, right? You know, and see, that's the thing, too. It's like, some people say, well, just listen to the radio. Well, it's like, well... You know, I mean, sure, there's nothing that says you can't listen to the radio, but I like being able to hear the radio. So it's like, yeah, you got a more important radio. radio. And, and you hear that, you, you know, you hear somebody queue up, it's like, oh, quick turn on the radio so you can hear what's going on. You'd think they'd make an automatic system, you know, like when you're when you're talking on your cell phone or something where the radio turns down. Oh, that'd be amazing. You know, you'd think they'd do that for cops to set up the infotainment system that if you get a, a radio call it shuts down and uh, goes quieter uh, I don't suspect this guy of anything but we're just going to tell him I was wondering why you just yeah. suddenly pulled around yeah, we'll see if he runs the stop sign up here I don't think he will but... or if he gets gas I'll looks like he's getting around. gas Oh, he did that to try to throw you off his scent. Maybe. Like I said, I don't. I mean, I don't. You know, I ain't got nothing to pull him over on. Yeah. Uh. You know, he's just driving down the road. But. Actually, you know what? Let's go down this dirt road here. One advantage of having a uh, explorer. Yeah, I, no one ever comes down here, like ever. I don't think I don't think I've seen anyone come down this road before. Mm. Well, maybe rail maintenance. I see them out here. But...
gotta be a little sneaky there. No, oh, park right there. Let's see if anyone notices me. I don't know. This, I, I feel like this is an area someone wouldn't really look. Yeah, depending on how they're driving. But are you too close to railroad tracks? Yeah, it should be good. I'm before the before the pole. That's Pretty true. Good. I mean, if you're on the street, you'd be just as close. Yeah. Mount Chiliad looks so freaking tall. Yeah, I've heard of people hiking up there, but I've never User had the. disconnected from the channel. What's the? I guess what's the, Never had the motivation to hike up there. Yeah, I guess that mountain range pretty much takes up a good, big chunk of the county too. Oh yeah. Yep. I gather that out of yours patrolled by your game wardens. Yep. All that area, like uh, like Rat and Canyon and, and all that are all controlled by Game Warden. We used to have, uh, or the State Department used to have a Game Warden uh, unit, but uh, it's since disbanded because we have, well, you know, like we're sufficient on our Game Warden department, so like we can just supplement wherever we need Game Wardens, so it's like, don't really need to have one anymore. Yeah, they probably decided to put the money to something more useful. User yep. disconnected from your channel. There's always budget cuts and stuff on the room, and so they probably felt that both you get both of you guys would get a cut in that department if one if you didn't get out of it. I know how those politicians think. They say, oh, "Okay, well we don't need two of these. We'll just slash both of your budgets in half." Yep. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, right? That's for, like, the major and then the sheriff and sheriff. That's kind of what they do is, is deal with all the politics while, uh, you know, we just kind of do our job. Yeah. So you need other divisions other than traffic, or is it just traffic? Um, no, just traffic. My main two uh, focuses right now are traffic and the public information department, or office, I guess. But uh, that's right, you've got that as well, you were mentioning. Yeah, that is a vital relationship that we need to maintain at all costs, because... Uh, you know, what are we without the community? Yeah, I heard about the big riots a while back. When I was in Liberty City, it made the news all the way out there. I guess there was a bunch of looting in the city and stuff. Thirty-one. I'm gonna run to the last that one. We're just gonna roll that direction. You see that on the CAD there? It says uh, yep. about the radio station. We were driving by there earlier, weren't we? Yeah. Well, not up. We were like on 68 below the radio station. I thought we went past it down our dirt road. Uh, that one dirt road we took. Nine. Do you still have your ride along, sir? 10 4. Can I get an additional 32 to route as well?
33, I'm a northern unit, but I'm probably the closest. From 2048. 33, go ahead and route if you want to need any more, let us know. 433, I'm not a good one. Is that LeBalt that you were talking about earlier? Yep. 33 to 31, before you roll in, wait for me so we can go in together. Is that for? Yeah, that's another misconception too, is like, you know, we're all code 3 license sirens everywhere. It's like, well, the only time we're license sirens is if someone's like, you know, in danger. Hurt or, you know. Yeah, like, uh, like this is just a suspicious vehicle. Like there's no reason why we need to endanger all of the motorists just to get there. Yeah. Right? Well, the other thing is, if you got your lights and sirens on, the people there, if they are suspicious, might catch the lights. Yeah. And bolt. It, we're going up there with the big radio towers. Yep. Yeah, I think we drove by that earlier when you were taking the back, back roads earlier. I thought we did. Uh, yeah, we may have. 33, I'm out. He's up there? Okay. You're going to roll on him with you. Oh, he's right behind you, I think. Oh, there he is, yeah. His nice black vehicle. Hey, black out. Place taking not registered. Ten four. If you want to stick with the vehicle, I'll drive around the area and see if I can see anything. Let's see what we got in there. Boss seven. I'm making my way over there to see if I can see anyone walk around. Try to see if you can get seat inside of the vehicle. See if there's any damage or anything offsetting. for all advice. Alright, just uh, sit tight for now, alright? Copy that. 33, I'm going to be walking around the business making sure it's all secure. Yeah, 31, there's something plain view inside of the car.
Try to have bright Close lights seven. on this Just thing. try to make contact with the owner and see if, if they see anything. Let's see if you get the spotlight or anything here. Owner of the business? Tim, four of the Radio Shack, I believe. If I'll try to give him a call, it should be closed, I'm guessing. I'll knock on the door, though. It's all, all the doors I secured. Copy. If you can get in contact with him, just try to see if he wants it towed or if he just wants it out of the area. Hmm. Is that blood on the dirt road in front of us? Where? Like, between us and the car, it looks like there's red spots on the road. I think that's just a shadow, yeah? I don't know. Yeah, right in front of your tires right now. Yeah, it looks like to be a shit shadow. Oh, okay. I heard something out in the woods, but uh, I looked over there and I didn't see anything. Mm. Maybe I'm just hearing things. No, I didn't hear anything, but I was in the car, so... I see a lot of your guys' calls are sitting around waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's, you'll find that's pretty common, especially because, um, you know. Um, User joined your channel. One of the county units for here, 43. I'm just not getting caught up with this from another scene. We're looking for a silver and colored two door. It's going to be stolen from the 7000 block of GOH right around the restaurant oh, area yeah. across the street of West Eclipse. Uh, it's going to be a white male, blonde haired driver, unknown clothing description. 31. We're going to have that vehicle here. Near is going to be Sonora Road at 4006 up to the uh, radio show. Good copy. Do you have any further on the suspect from that, or...? Negative. Uh, we just want the vehicle abandoned. Nothing in plain view, or nothing like that. Good copy. If you want to get it towed to the crime lab for me, I will uh, take it from there, unless you guys want it. 10-4. We'll get that tow for you. Copy. Thank you. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. give, uh, 33. Uh, they stated that it was not on their property for the radio shack and that they uh, don't care what happens to it. They were just concerned because it was running. Copy. It would be towed to crime lab for investigation. And now we wait some more. <laughs> mm hmm. They said they should be here in like three mics. Uh, did you remember who called it out? Like this call sign? Who oh, made the... Lady. I think it was uh, 105? Sounded like an older gentleman. Okay.
Oh, it's like they're here. What was the description again of that male? It's gonna be a white male with blonde hair and no clothing. Five. Further on the suspect, the B crime lab is advising it's a possible Jimmy Lancer. They have a partial match to him. It's going to be common spelling on both last enemy Lincoln, Adam, Nora, Charles, Edward, Robert. 33, I'm going to go swing by his residence and see if he's walking that way from where we were. Thirty-three. Just wait until you get an additional with their 105. Are you tied up right now? I have to be in route from a distance. If you guys got one closer, I'm in Polito. What did I miss? I don't Thirty-three. Know. I'm not gonna go make contact. I'm just gonna drive towards his house and see if I see him walking. Uh, I guess one of your officers noticed the guy. Okay. There is uh, actual tow, so we're, uh, I'm gonna wait for them to get up. Okay. Ah, that's why you were using your radar and I didn't hear anything. Yeah, yep. That way they can take it back to the crime lab. For some reason that still looks like blood on the ground. It does, the shadow makes it. Well, the shadow and then the, uh, the brake light of the car. <laughs> oh. That's true, you've been out a couple of times, so if it was blood, you would have noticed when we walked past. <laughs> yep. But from my angle, my view, it just looks like blood. It's like, <laughs> especially now that I know it's involved with something else, it's like, okay, is the guy bleeding? And... Yeah. I figure if I see something, I'm going to at least say it, because uh, who knows? Oh my, we're at like quarter tank. <laughs> you fill up with, uh... I don't think you fill up all sh well no you filled up at least twice yeah at least twice I mean hey I mean you know 
That's what you get when you're just patrolling. You don't really have a destination. Uh, and you're just wand like just wandering around. Gas goes faster than you think it does. Uh, especially with an SUV, I'm sure. That was one nice thing about the S Crown Vicks. They got nice some nice mileage. <laughs> yep. Yep. So is this one of the vehicles like starting deputies can drive or? Yeah, I, I believe it is. Pretty sure actually. It's this one and then I believe it's a 14 Charger, I think. No, I think I'd be more in, if I was going to join a county department, I think I'd be more into having something I could do off road. Just yeah. in case. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think this might be my favorite over the Charger. And I mean, I know what I said before, but I mean, come on. This is you know, if, if if I was a state, if you're a state trooper, I could see the Charger Better coming around. I didn't see anything whenever I drove past his house. Uh, he lives in Stab City, so I'm not sure which trailer exactly it is, but he's not out in the open if he's in there. I mean, like I said, if I could see on the highway, a Charger could be... Good. Where was the vehicle last dropped for that 43? I'm sorry. We located it abandoned at the, uh, near the, where the old rebel radio used to be. Okay, copy. I'll start heading on 68 and help you look. Yeah, 31. I'm still with the vehicle. Meters. Ah, here comes the tow truck. Boy, 105. We can get a canine activated. That might help us as well. 33 to 31. Check to see if there are more tire marks kind of leaving the area of where that car is. Maybe like fresh tire tracks. Or if there are footprints in the sand. That work. 108, 105. If you want me to, sir, I can hop up in uh, air one and uh, switch on the thermals and see if I can track them that way. Ten further probably wouldn't hurt. One two eight, Yeah, 31. I'm gonna have uh, additional footprints leading into the grassy area here. Air one, I'll be skids up. What was the last known location of this car? I'm gonna be near Sonora Road at 4006, just before the Rebel Radio. Copy, I'm on route.
33, do we have anyone that can activate K9 though? Negative, I don't believe we're sufficient. Alright, 10 4. Maybe their unit will be able to help. Yeah, hello. You can get out and help us look. There is uh, okay. footprints here. That look like they disappear. Oh, I, hold on. Oh, never mind. Uh, they look like they disappear into the grass here, but uh, we're just kind of looking in the area to see if we can find any. Additional footprints, or maybe a piece of clothing, or whatever we can find out here. Right? It's good to get out and stretch my legs again, too. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna go sit near the entrance of Stab, see if I can see him walking in. Thirty-one, did you see him earlier? Or? Negative, but that's where his residence is. So. In for. User disconnected from your channel. One. I'm getting a heat signature inside the motel. Looks like someone's laying face down in that, uh, on the 68 uh, cell there. 33, I'm out. We're at. Maybe we're on the motel. Hey, guys, it's going to be uh, the second unit from their end. Okay, but it's inside the business? Unknown. Are you uh, showing it inside or on the outside of the building? We're gonna get you behind this rock here. Okay. Just in case someone find the air one. Mm-hmm. Just sit tight. Be advised, yep. it looks like we need possibly inside hard to tell. So for that camera it's gonna get false readings inside, we're not even gonna entertain that thought. Then for all keep servers. You can't sing around the area. One of five, what's the status on my K9? Pause seven, we don't have enough units to activate K9. Stay one, two, I'll grab it. I'll grab my K9, just stand by. Same for when you let me get you a good code, I'm gonna need you 4006. I almost gotta wonder if he grabbed another vehicle.
have a sneaking suspicion. I don't know why my sussy beater is pointing this vehicle out. Mm. Even though I think it may be a little cool. Oh, the station wagon in front of us. Like a local to you? Hard to say. I've noticed sometimes the locals do funny things. You could always light him up and see what he does. Yeah, I have no PC on him though. Uh, not even following too close? Uh, I mean... Possibly, I suppose, yeah, but... <laughs> Be stretching it. Need me to step out again? Uh, yes. Yep. I was looking at something real quick, but yeah. Uh, I didn't want to step out without your approval first. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Well, you know, I know you said when, when we're getting gas, but considering there's a somebody you guys are looking in the area. I almost think him going back home would be the stupidest thing for him to do. I mean, he's got, to, he's got to know that you guys know where he lives, so... Somewhere. Where is that? Oh, behind you. Oh, it's probably the canine. Remember, remember that one guy said he wanted them to respond code. Oh, there's the helo again. Alright, um... Unfortunately, it is the end of my shift. Okay. So, we'll head back and, uh... Get you settled down. Yeah, I can give you the vest back and go home. 
Yeah, any questions? No, it's definitely interesting. It's kind of nice to see that there's some quiet and some busy times. Yeah. And sometimes it's looking for a needle in the haystack. Sometimes, yeah, and sometimes you don't find that needle either. Yeah. Um, I could try to find you someone else if you. No, 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 no. Um, um, no. The only reason I just yeah, wanted to try to. Stick... We're going to be trying to establish a track. I just wanted to stay for your whole shift if I could, basically, just see what a, you know, what a, what a day in a patrol was like, basically. Yeah. Because if you only see part of it, you can't get a good feel for, you know, what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. It's one of the reasons yeah. I want to do several ride-alongs, you know, so probably going to do the other departments next and then probably do another one with you guys. And as I narrow down what departments I want to join, then I'll probably just do more ride-alongs with those departments just to... You know, make sure I really want to do it and that kind of stuff. Yeah, hundred percent. I would say I'd like to stick with that call, but uh... yeah, you know, sometimes you can't stay. Can't stay, and it's one of those things. Yeah. I'm guessing that's the trooper that's up in the bird. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they get a little cool. See, we have like a. What type of helicopter it is. Anyway, ours is bigger than theirs. They mm -hmm. have like a little little bird type type deal going on. Is there a call sign little bird? You no, know, that'd be kind of funny, but. Okay. It looks like we're gonna have it heading west over here towards Sonora. Okay. There's that vest back. Oh, hold on. Oh, well, you stopped working there for a second. Okay. <laughs> There's the vest back. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, yeah, if you have no further questions or nothing, you should nope. be good to go. Thanks for letting me tag along. Like I said, I'm probably going to be back again at some point in time. Definitely interested in BCSO at this point, but i um, not going to rush anything. I'm kind of going to go through and, like I said, try to see him. Might even just write with the fire department to see what that's like even. My yeah. mom might actually be better off with me being a f firefighter, but I'm not <laughs> sure I want to be a firefighter, but I'm probably going to try it just to see. I just can't yeah. imagine... Dealing with the stuff they do. I mean, it seems like it'd be a lot more boring. Yeah, well, they also get to sit on the couch all day and watch television, so... Mm. <laughs> I'll have to see if that's true when I ride along with them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a nice uh, night, Corporal Walker. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I had a fun time. Yeah, me too. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Stay safe. You too. 31. will be 10, 10, 10 for you have a nice one. Okay, folks, I'm going to end the stream here. Um, ah, actually, User disconnected yeah, from I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will be back again in the future. I probably will be doing a little bit more streaming. You're probably going to see this guy a little bit more. Um, I am enjoying playing him. I'm also enjoying getting to know what the Leos do for a regular basis. Like I said, I've been on the server for two years now. And I'm ready to try something new. I, Civ, I'm, Civ, I've, I'm enjoying Civ right now, so I'm really in no rush to change anything with the way it is right now. But, 
I've got some other new characters. I've got a guy that flies airplanes with uh, Baker Aviation. Roth is actually the CEO of that company. I'll be doing some streams with that as well. So probably going forward, there's probably going to be more Civ streams than Fire streams. Simply because I'm pretty much only doing one Fire Patrol uh, a week anymore, for the most part. Um, and doing a lot more Civ Patrols. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you on the next time.